Hi, British Literature students. Welcome to the eighth week of the 2017 summer semester. So I have finished grading the Hard Times essays and I've posted your grades. Uh, I just want to make a couple of general statements about those Hard Times essays. Uh, the grades ranged from some really solid A's to some essays that failed. Um, and I was pleased that a lot, there were a lot of students that got A's on this essay. But I was also a little disappointed in some of the failing essays because these, these uh, points that were removed from those essays could have been avoided. Uh, first of all, you have to read the instructions on the essays very carefully. They're like five or six pages. And they outline exactly what my expectations are. So go through that rubric. If you got, if you got a grade you did not like, first of all, uh, complaining about it to me in an email isn't going to work very well. Uh, I'm just going to say, hey, I, I gave you the grade you earned. End of story. Uh, but one of the one of the reasons I mean there are multiple reasons but one of the reasons why it took me so long to get these grades back to you is that when I see a failing essay I have to make a lot of comments and some of the comments I made on these hard times essays were the very same comments that I made on the Frankenstein essays so you need to open those two essays up if you didn't get the grade you like you know if you ended up somewhere in the 60s or the 50s you need to open those two essays up and look at what I've written because I explained in great detail how I ended up arriving at your grade. So uh, shooting me an email saying, you know, I, I don't like this grade isn't, gonna, isn't going to uh, do a whole lot because I'll just say, well, that's the grade the essay earned. Um, so open those up. And I would recommend that you read those carefully and then go into the instructions for the uh, Pride and Prejudice essay. Um, you'll see that when I look in the comments, I break it down by thesis statement, structure, main points, uh, and so on and so forth. And I explain in great detail what I'm looking for in a thesis statement, what I'm looking for in the structure, what I'm looking for in the quotes. Some people uh, have written two essays now and still not giving me a direct quote. And under my expectations, it says I expect direct quotes. And then under the direct quotes portion, I tell you what to uh, do with that. And I have a quoting uh, prose handout in D2L, which is, of course, the website that we use. Uh, I have a quoting prose handout in there that will illustrate to you what a quote should look like. This is stuff you should have learned in English 1101 and 1102, by the way. So. Um, you know, not to go off on that tangent for too long, but the truth is, I explain myself very well how I arrived at your grade. And all you got to do is open that essay up, uh, go to the comments section, and take a look at my multiple comments that I gave you to explain how that grade was arrived at. Um, but do look at both the comments and the instructions all five or six pages of the instructions before you turn that Pride and Prejudice essay in because that's how you're going to in increase your grade and get out of this pass with a, or get out of this class with a passing grade excuse me alright um, Wednesday's the deadline for the Pride and Prejudice essay uh, many of you have already taken the quiz but if you haven't that's also the deadline for the quiz uh, and then we're going to get into the importance of being earnest I love The Importance of Being Earnest. It is a hilarious play. Uh, you will find yourself, if you pay attention to what the characters are saying, laughing out loud uh, as you read it because a lot of it's nonsensical stuff. Um, for example, there is a quote in there where uh, Lady Bracknell asks uh, uh, Algy if he uh, smokes. And he says, well, yes, I have to confess I do. Thinking, And you're thinking, well, okay, she won't approve of that. And she says, oh, that's wonderful. Every young man should have an occupation. Um, it's a play that pokes fun at something called the leisure class. So what the leisure class was, was it was a group of people who basically had so much money that all they had to do was spend it. And you're going to learn that... Uh, uh, one of the characters in the play actually is so deep in debt that he doesn't have any money anymore but he still lives like he has a lot of money and Oscar Wilde is saying this is a dangerous thing so um, 
pay attention to the humor, but pay attention to the messages also. Um, I'll have those questions up for you by Wednesday. And one thing I have learned is that some of you can read a lot faster than I can. Uh, you can probably read The Importance of Being Earnest in one sitting because it's a play, it's not actually a novel. So um, it's possible that you get through that in a single day, then take the quiz, and then, of course, then uh, write the essay. So I'll have all that up by Wednesday. Um, I will do a much better job of having that up by Wednesday now that I know that some of you uh, are actually pretty good at reading pretty quickly and comprehending what you read. So I'm very, I'm very pleased by that. So um, with that in mind, if you have any other questions, uh, feel free to email me. Remember that the uh, quiz will shut down for Pride and Prejudice Wednesday night, so if you haven't finished it yet, get that thing finished and get that quiz in and then get that paper in so that I can grade those. I will do my best not to take so long to grade these papers this time. Uh, all things considered equal, I should be okay at getting them back to you in a much quicker time period. So, uh, thank you for sitting through this long video, but, uh, um, you know, we're almost done. Once you finish, here, here's another point I want to make. Once you're finished with that uh, importance of being earnest uh, essay and quiz, you're done with me for the semester. There is no final exam. There is no research paper. So, once you get done with that, that's it for the semester. You can uh, concentrate on your other classes or you can concentrate on going to the beach or whatever you want to do once those things are turned in. So uh, let's uh, finish this uh, semester strong and uh, I look forward to seeing what uh, you have to say about Pride and Prejudice.